a young man wearing a green t-shirt and a brown pants sits on the ground and surrounded by a group of people just outside the Ark of God's Covenant ministry. He stands, takes a few bounces around and then skips forward. He is again forced to the place where he was and firmly gripped by three men. Something is definitely wrong. He again hobbles around actions that shows he is in a state of mental disorder. You don't hold me like that. I'm not a criminal. You hold me a criminal like that. You know I can screw you. You hold me like a criminal. I'm not a criminal. Do you know that? Never you do that. Never. I can sue you for that. Are you embarrassing me? I have my rights. Do you know that? Never you hold me like an arm mobile. I'm not an arm mobile. He is again forced to sit on the ground. And the ropes on his legs firmly fasten in order to prevent further violent actions. His t shirt and his shorts completely stains with soil. His family in one voice cries out for the help of God. All on their knees with their heads bowed to the ground. They believe Jesus Christ would not leave them without a solution. The demons in the man continues to manifest their diabolical powers, this time with his eyes and mouth widely opened. Because of the violent nature of the man, his clothes were completely stained and his family took him back home to change his clothes and prepare him for prayers on the Sunday service. This is the prayer line of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. We can see the man of God, Apostle John Chi, ministering healing, deliverance and breakthrough to those who have come with different problems. With tears all over her face, the mother of this young man leads him slowly to take his place at the prayer line. Even the look on his face shows he is not himself, his hands and legs tied together with pieces of cloth. His eyes red and face looking wild, this time being arrested by the Holy Spirit, he sits quietly amongst others who have come to the prayer line of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry to seek the face of God. In accordance to the Holy Scriptures, The man of God, Apostle John Chi, stretches out his hands and prays in the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately, Didi jumps out of his seat and begins to roll all over the floor. He rises up, takes a few steps backward before falling again to the ground as he tries to flee from the Apostle. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, the young man is again bundled and brought back to where he was. <laughs> So, 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 so,
Ils sont Stop. depuis longtemps. Help me. I know you are the only person who can help us, man of God. Je suis la seule personne qui peut nous venir en aide. Mon enfant est un élève, le point d'exercice, on est dans moi. Je ne sais plus quoi faire. Aide-moi. Aide-nous. Aide-nous, homme de Dieu. What happened to him? He left from us and went for evening classes because he's about to write GCE. So on his way back, he met 16 people standing at the middle of the road on both sides with black garment and white uh, scarf on their head, barefooted. When he passed, bypassed them, they called him twice. He refused. When he came to the house and explained them, they muttered to the mother, immediately he just started behaving abnormal. He just went mad. He has been mad since that, that this house we are holding, we are holding him. Since the the man of God. Help us. He's trying to beat people. That, that's why we tie him like this. If we don't tie him, we will not even have even peace. You cannot even sit. Is the tapé les gens? Et c'est pour ça qu'on l'a attaché. Help us, man of God. Help us, man of God. Man of God, help us. So he has been violent like this. Yes, man of God. This is how he has been behaving. He did the commercial uh, practicals uh, last week. Then the, he has to start on the Tuesday. This is how he's behaving now. Right. Exams. I'm retired and I'm getting hope this is my son. I think he's supposed to leave me up. Man of God, help me. Help me, man of God. The mighty of Jesus Christ. The mighty of Jesus Christ. After listening to the plight of his parents, the man of God begins to cast out the demons responsible for mental disorder. Come here, come here, come here. In the name of Jesus Christ. The man makes an attempt to attack the man of God, but it fails. What is going You say what? Come here, come here, come here. I'm better more than you. You say what? I'm better more than you. You are not greater than Jesus. I'm greater. Just touch me. You can touch me. You can destroy who? Destroy me. You cannot destroy Jesus. The might of Jesus Christ. In the might of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire! Let him, let him. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Holy Ghost fire! As the man of God continues to call down the fire of the Holy Ghost, he pulls off his clothes and takes steps backward as he tries to launch yet another attack. Now get out of him! You spirit of madness! Out! But nothing seems to be working. That is the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is in the house through his Out! spirit. Wash his queen. Out! Be cast out of this body. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember where the light of God down he goes. Glory be to God. He has been declared free. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My son is free. Jesus Christ has taken over him. Jesus Christ has taken over him. And I worship only you and only you alone. Stand up. This young man who came here with a disorder mental has been declared free in the name of Jesus Christ. C'est une preuve que Jésus-Christ vit. Il est resté le même hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Il n'a point changé. Chers téléspectateurs, Jésus-Christ est toujours parmi nous. Il n'est pas parti. Il est toujours d'entre nous, il est vivant. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Regardez ce jeune homme qui est venu ici avec un désordre mental. Qui a reçu sa délivrance au nom de Jésus-Christ. Merci et la réponse venant d'un cœur joyeux. Regardez cette famille, comment elle est émue de la présence de Dieu. Come, my friend.
How are you? I'm fine. What happened to you? I don't know. You don't know? Who are they? So what happened to you? You don't know? So please, can you get him food? Get him food. Let him eat and sleep and rest. Donnez-lui à manger, comme ça il va dormir et se reposer. Et comme ça il va revenir donner un nouveau témoignage. God is good. God is good. Gloire à Dieu. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those from the Son of Man set free are free indeed. This is the work of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Didier has just been set free from the problem of mental disorder. Didier and his parents are led to one of the restaurants of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. He sits down and a new t-shirt is given to him to replace the cloth he destroyed during his violent manifestation. A plate of rice and chicken sauce presented before him to enjoy as he celebrates his newfound freedom and replenish the much energy he wasted during his manifestation. As Mr. Didier enjoys his meal, we are reminded of just how good and faithful God is. He will never allow the enemy of our souls to triumph over us. The healing of Mr. Didier is proof that the enemy can only test the children of God but cannot destroy them. Remember what the Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10, For the devil came to kill steal and to destroy but the son of man has come to give life in abundance After eating the meal, Mr. Didier is ushered to one of the dormitories of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry in order for him to have a proper rest. Remember, it does not hurt God if we receive all the blessings of heaven. Trouble may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Mr. Didier experiences a moment of crossover. Mental disorder is gone and forgotten as he sleeps 
over his past. Few hours after, he wakes up from his deep slumber, picks up his shoes and puts them on and firmly ties them to his feet, something he could not do when he was in the state of mental disorder. He makes his way out of the dormitory and steps into his bright future. Glory be to God. of heaven. I'm called Didier Wanjangumo. The people standing beside my, le my left hand side are my dad, my mom, and my elder sister. The problem that brought me to Art of God Covenant Ministry is a problem of mental disorder. Nous écoutons notre frère qui témoigne pour la gloire de Dieu. Il nous présente à ses côtés son papa, ensuite sa maman et enfin sa soeur cadette. Et il nous dit que le problème qu'il a mené ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, c'est le problème de désordre mental. The art began at the 20th May, in which I went out to read with my friends. On my way coming back, I met a group of people standing at the both side of the road. There were about 16 of them. They were standing both sides of the road. So when I was going, I saw them doing the incantation. So I did not have time for them because I, I know that I mind my own business and I don't I don't I do not owe anybody. So I just left. So when I was going, they called me the first time. I did not turn. As I was going, they still called me. On my way, when I reached on my entrance to my house, I heard a lady voice. She called me to see So when I turned, turned back to look at her, that why, why is she calling at me? I did not know her, but I did not saw, see any person. Et il nous dit que la genèse de ce problème émane du fait qu'un jour il marchait, tout au long de la route il a rencontré un groupe de personnes au nombre de 16 et tout au long qu'il faisait son chemin on l'a appelé, il n'a pas regardé, il n'est pas rentré et encore appelé, on a insisté et il est retourné. I was coming out of school to read. When I was coming, I met them, they were putting on white, white garment, a white hair scarf on their head and they were barefooted. So when I left them, as I was going, when I reached out the gate side, I went to the house, I knocked the door, when my mother opened the door, but when I got in, in the house, I could not sleep. I just stood at a chair for quite some time. I put on the TV, but there was no way. They were, they were keep on tormenting me. I went to my bed, when I lie down in my bed, I heard a voice, they were there in my room. They said, this night they are going to kill me. Dad, I'm not going to see the next day. So I was very disturbed. I could not do anything that moment. Et il nous dit que lorsqu'il est retourné et rencontré cette personne, il était habillé en vêtements blancs, il était dans une voiture blanche, il était pieds nus. Et lorsqu'il est rentré chez lui, il s'est assis dans, son, dans sa chaise. Plus tard, lorsqu'il est rentré se coucher, il a entendu une voix lui disant que on va te tuer. I told my mother what has happened. I explained that I saw them. Many people were standing, 16 of them standing at the both sides of the road. All of them I recognized rich people that were standing there. So when I, I started explaining everything to my mother, I explained how I saw them. I don't know what happened with me. I just find myself just behaving at normal, that I usually don't do that. C'est ainsi que lorsqu'il a commencé à expliquer le scénario à sa maman, que lorsqu'il est rentré, il a rencontré un certain groupe de personnes au bord de la route, et quand il a commencé à expliquer cela à sa maman, il a commencé à se comporter de façon anormale. Well, that's how I got mad. I was very violent, breaking things in the house. I have a lot of power in me that nobody can can control me. Even my dad. There were many of them in the house, but all of them, they, can, they cannot hold me because I was more powerful more than them. So during, it, during this period, I had a dream where I was about to write an exam. I had a dream where I failed. This is my fourth time that I'm writing. Number fourth time? Yeah. Huh? Yes, man of God. Wow. Right faith, right faith, right faith. <laughs> So this is the fourth. Yes, man of God. Uh huh. So they tied me that day. I cannot remember anything. I just find myself in a prayer line where the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, prayed for me, and I was healed. Immediately, I felt something coming out of my body that I, I, I don't know. I was very heavy. Before falling again to the ground 
as he tries to flee from the apostle. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, the young man is again bundled and brought back to where he was. On the dread, my friend, you seem to be at all. Help me! I know you are the only person who can help us, man of God. Je suis la seule personne qui peut nous venir en aide. What happened to him? He left from us and went for evening classes because uh, he's about to write the uh, GCE. So on his way back, he met 16 people standing at the middle of the road on both sides with black garment and white uh, scarf on their head, barefooted. When he passed, bypassed them, they called him twice. He refused. When he came to the house and explained them, they muttered to the mother, immediately he just started behaving abnormal. He just went mad. He has been mad since that, that this house we are holding, we are holding him. Since the mother of God help us. He's threatening to beat people. That, that's why we tie him like this. If we don't tie him, we will not even have no, even peace. No, no, no. You cannot even sit. Help us, man of God. Help us, man of God. Man of God, help us. So he has been violent like this? Yes, man of God. This is how he has been behaving. He did the commercial uh, practicals uh, last week. Then the, he has to start on the Tuesday. This is how he's behaving now. Right. Exams. I'm retired and I'm getting hope this is my son. I think he's supposed to leave me up. Man of God, help me. Help me, man of God. The mighty of Jesus Christ. The mighty of Jesus Christ. After listening to the plight of his parents, the man of God begins to cast out the demons responsible for mental disorder. Come here, come here, come here. In the name of Jesus Christ. The man makes an attempt to attack the man of God, but it fails. Watch the screen. You say what? Come here, come here, come here. I'm greater more than you. You say what? I'm greater more than you. You are not greater than Jesus. I'm greater. Just touch me. You can destroy me. You can destroy who? Destroy me. You cannot destroy Jesus. In the mighty of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire! Let him, let him. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Holy Ghost fire! As the man of God continues to call down the fire of the Holy Ghost, he pulls off his clothes and takes steps backward as he tries to launch yet another attack. Now get out of him! You spirit of madness! Out! But nothing seems to be working. That is the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is in the house through his Out. spirit. Wash his queen. Out! Because I know this body. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember where the light of God down he goes. Glory be to God. He has been declared free. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering my il nous dit que lorsqu'il a commencé à se comporter de façon anormale, il a commencé à casser toutes les choses à la maison, on n'a pas pu le maîtriser, mais plus tard, sa maman a pu le maîtriser et c'est ainsi qu'on l'a mis ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, où l'homme de Dieu a pris John Chia à prier pour lui. You listen to that? He said something came out of his body. Vous avez écouté, il a dit quelque chose est sorti de lui. That is to tell you that at that moment, he possessed the divine nature of Satan. C'est pour vous dire qu'à ce moment, il possédait la nature de Satan. So, Jesus Christ entered his life to take that divine nature of Satan out. Je suis Christ est entré dans sa vie pour ôter cette nature de Satan dans lui. And to bring freedom. Et pour lui donner la liberté. It was like a form of a peace. Because the, during this process, they were supposed to kill me. They have already laid me on the altar. 
I, I was not supposed to see the next day. So when, when the man of God, Senior Apostle John Tilly, is out of me, I felt good. And, and immediately I saw myself, I was very dirty, and I saw my mother crying, so I was very surprised what had happened to me. You listen to that? Vous avez écouté cela? He was very surprised. Il était tellement surpris lui-même. That is to tell you that he was not here with us. Je vous dis qu'il n'était pas ici avec nous. So our battle is not flesh against flesh, but spirit against spirit. Notre bataille n'est pas chair contre chair, mais esprit contre esprit. I am more comfortable walking in the spirit. Je suis à l'aise lorsque je marche dans l'esprit. That is when I hear Jesus clearly telling me, do this, do that. Sans... And when I do it, I see the results. C'est à ce moment que je saisis Jésus-Christ clairement. Lorsqu'il me donne un ordre, je l'exécute sur l'ordre et je vois le résultat. Tu peux bien faire ceci. If not Jesus. Si pas Jésus-Christ. Regardez un jeune comme celui-ci. So when the man of God lay his hand upon me, and behold, I was whole again. I lost a lot of energy that, that period, so I was very hungry. I don't know how the man of God managed to know that I was hungry. <rire> Notre frère nous dit que une fois à la ligne de prière, lorsque le serviteur de Dieu, apôtre John Chi, a prié pour lui, il a ressenti comme si quelque chose lui a quitté et il a plus tard ressenti, il a plus tard reçu sa délivrance et lorsqu'il a retrouvé ses sens, il s'est retrouvé tellement sale et il avait tellement faim. Question de Lord, behold, when I went after I finished eating, so I needed to sleep, so they showed me to dormitory. When I was sleeping, I saw a man of God, senior apostle John G. In a dream, he laid his hand upon me on my chest. And behold, I saw an angel on a light. He was shining more than a moon. When I get up, I felt my body was very light than that than a paper. Notre frère nous dit qu'après sa délivrance, lorsqu'il allait se reposer, pendant, pendant qu'il dormait, il a eu un songe dans lequel il a vu le serviteur de Dieu, Apôtre John Chi, lui mettre la main sur la poitrine. Il a vu un ange qui était tellement blanc qu'il avait envahi tout l'endroit. So after that, I was supposed to be, um, my exam was coming soon, just a few days to the exam. So I was very disturbed because I, I did not read for quite some time and I was very distressed because that, that mental disorder really make me to lose a lot of concentration in my school. So all the glory, I give all the glory and the praises to God for seeing me through. He did not allow my enemies to triumph over me, but instead, he led me to triumph over my enemies. Notre frère nous dit qu'avant cette attaque, il devait préparer son examen puisqu'il compose cet examen depuis pour la quatrième fois. Et il disait chaque fois, il méditait qu'il ne voudrait pas que ses ennemis le triomphent. Et il a eu la grâce de triompher lui-même sur ses ennemis. Just as the children of Israel were marching along the wall of Jericho and the wall fell down, down. so as I marched over my, my past and the bondage that I've been tying me to having my success, so I went for the exam and I came out, I was... I was victorious. Notre frère nous dit que juste comme les enfants d'Israël marchaient et les murailles de Jericho se sont écroulées, c'est ainsi qu'il allait composer à son examen et il a été une personne de réussite. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor God. Dieu ton voisin Dieu. Cannot answer prayer. Ne peut pas exaucer les prières. Without a miracle. Sans un miracle. Miracle is God restoring what Satan has destroyed. Le miracle, c'est Dieu restaurer ce que Satan a détruit. You say, how many times have you been writing? This is number four times. But this time around now, you made it. Yes, man of God. And the subject that I made was law and government, economic geography, English, and, and comments. Notre frère nous dit qu'il allait composer à son examen et il a été victorieux. Il a réussi à son examen. Amen. Amen. When you have exhausted your mental and emotional resources, Lorsque you can no longer rely on yourself. Lorsque vous avez épuisé toutes vos ressources mentales et physiques, vous ne pouvez pas dépendre sur vous-même. You simply have to trust someone stronger, wiser, smarter than yourself. Vous devez tout simplement faire confiance à quelqu'un plus apte, plus fort, plus compétent plus que vous-même. 
Jesus Christ, who delivered him, will deliver you today. Jesus Christ, who delivered him, will deliver you today. Jesus Christ, who restored him, will restore you today. Jesus Christ, who restored him, will restore you today. Well, I was, I'm very happy. I don't know how to express my, my gratitude to the man of God. They all just say, just thank you. My situation was very terrible, Dad. Dad, I don't know what I could have done. Each time I'm passing at the roadside, I see people that are mad. I just think about myself that if I was in this situation, how, how, can, I be, how can I be looking like? So, I'm very grateful for you, to you, Senior Apostle John Chi. I pray that God should give you the more grace to do his work. Notre frère nous dit qu'il est tellement ému et qu'il ne sait pas comment exprimer sa gratitude vis-à-vis -vis de l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John Shee. Et il implore que Dieu donne plus de grâce à son serviteur, apôtre John Shee, et il retourne la gloire entière dans les mains de Dieu. Um, so, so marvelous, sound, healthy, fat. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Il nous dit qu'il est stupéfait et tout va bien dans sa vie maintenant. The enemy meant bad, but God turned it to good. L'ennemi voulait le mal, mais Dieu a tourné cela en bon. God often brings good out of bad and promotes the design of His providence. Dieu fait sortir du mal, du bien pour promouvoir sa providence. This time around, if they come against you in one direction, they will flee in seven. Et si le Seigneur vient d'envoyer en une direction, ils vont s'enfuir en sept. Citizens of heaven. My name is Ngumo John. I reside in my 16 Bolifamba and I'm a pensioner since 2012. The people next to me is DJ Wanjangumo, my son. Next to DJ is my beloved wife, Meringumo, and my daughter, Nathalie Ngumo. Nous écoutons notre papa qui nous présente à ses côtés son fils qui vient de témoigner, ensuite sa, son épouse et sa fille. Yeah, it, it all happened. I came to the Act of God ministry on the 28th of May. Uh, and it happened that my son went for reading as usual in the evening. They always read and come back early in the morning. On his way back, he came and ran into the mother's room and told her that what the Nigeria film I'm showing, he has seen it in Cameroon today. Immediately, as he told the mother, he said he met 16 people standing, on, young business guys around my 16. They were standing on both sides of the road towards my, the entrance of my house. When he recognized three of them, he started calling their names, and when he immediately called the third, he, they, he, he became mad. Notre papa nous aurait été su ce que son fils vient de dire précédemment. Et il nous dit qu'une fois, une fois, son fils est rentré à la maison et il est entré dans la chambre, il a appelé sa maman et il a dit à sa maman que lorsqu'il est rentré à la maison, il a rencontré un certain groupe de personnes au bord de la route qui l'ont appelé. Et lorsqu'il est rentré, entre retrouver cette personne, il est rentré à la maison. Il ne sait plus ce qui se passait avec lui. Immediately, he came to the house. He told the mother and uh, the mother now was crying because he just started scattering things in the house. Neighbors came for, to help. We were forced to tie him. He told me, Daddy, don't tie me. If you keep me here before noon, Saturday, they will slaughter me. So he said, take me to the senior uh, prophet, Apostle John Chi. It's only the person that can deliver me. Notre papa nous dit que son fils, lorsqu'il rentrait à la maison, il a rencontré ces groupes de personnes. Ils étaient en vêtements blancs, ils avaient un voile blanc autant pour moi. Ils étaient pieds nus et ils pratiquaient les cultes, les pratiques occultes. Et il nous dit que lorsqu'il son fils est rentré à la maison, lorsqu'il expliquait le scénario à sa maman, il a commencé à se comporter de façon anormale. Il a commencé à casser les choses à la maison et on a appelé même les voisins pour pouvoir le maîtriser. Et il a dit à son papa que ce n'est que le serviteur Paul John qui pourra le délivrer. That is how. I hired the vehicle immediately and brought him here to the Ark of God Covenant so that God should actually talk, pass through Apostle John Chi and deliver my son. Since he is 
I'm on retirement and I know he is now my pillar. As the strength I had is going down. C'est ainsi qu'ils ont pris la résolution de venir ici au ministère de l'âge de l'alliance de Dieu. Immediately we came on the prayer line on Sunday. Really, it was not easy. As the man of God was coming towards us, he just left us. I told my wife that if you don't follow me and will catch this boy, you know that the man of God will pass our line. So I and my wife we rushed and lifted him up, crying. My wife was crying and I was crying also, begging the man of God to help us. And uh, immediately, the man of God had to come closer to him and finally delivered him. Une fois à la ligne de prière, pendant que l'homme de Dieu, Apôtre John Shea, ministrait la prière, il s'approchait vers eux, ils ont commencé à pleurer, implorer la faveur de Dieu via son serviteur Apôtre John Shea. Et c'est ainsi que ce dernier, le serviteur de Dieu, Apôtre John Shea, s'est accouru vers eux et il a délivré son fils de cette attaque. Yes, after this day that he was delivered, my son came back in the evening in the house and went for evening classes. He wrote the GCA and made the pass. He had A in commerce, B in uh, geography, economics, C in English, and C in the law and government. Notre papa nous dit que après la délivrance de son fils, son fils a pu se concentrer sur son examen et il a les composer à son examen et il a réussi avec une bonne moyenne. I thank the man of God for restoring the hope I was about losing for my son, and I pray more she give him more grace and wisdom, so that he should stay long and help others that will be in similar situation like me. Citizens of heaven. Citizens of heaven. Okay. My names are Merin Gomo Ete. I'm coming from my 16. The person beside me is my husband, Gomo John. The next is Didier Wanja, my son. And the last one is uh, Gomo Nathalie, my daughter. Nous écoutons notre maman qui confirme ce témoignage et qui lui-même elle est témoin pour la gloire de Dieu. Mais bien en avant cela, elle nous présente sa famille. Didier, my son, it was on the 20th of May. Didier was in the house the whole of that day. She, he did not went for March pass. I said, Didier, you will not go for March pass. Didier tell me that, no, mama, I will not go. I said, okay, all left to you. After all, you are a big boy. So, I was supposed to go out on that same day. One of my friends invited me for a party. I don't know what happened to me. I just decided to stay home. The junior one, they call her Maluba. Mama, you will not go to that party that they invited you. I said, no, I will not go. I'm not feeling myself as to, to leave the house. I sat in the house. I was not feeling fine. I just decided to leave the house and went to one of my friend's place. That my friend is having a, a pharmacy. I just went there and sat there for a while. When I was coming back home, I met the day with three friends. Three of his friends, they friends that they used to go and read together. So they were sitting at the roadside. There's a covert in our entrance. They were sitting there. As I was coming, all of them just stood up. Mami Wanja, good evening. Mami Wanja, good evening. I say, good evening. I just left them and I went to the house. At that time, it was around 8 o'clock like that. That's the last time I, I, that evening, that I saw the day. Elle nous dit que tout ceci a commencé en 20 mai. Et elle nous dit que ce jour, elle a demandé à son fils s'il si n'allait pas défiler. Son fils lui a dit que non, maman, je ne vais pas défiler. Et elle-même, elle devait sortir. Elle a eu une réunion, mais elle ne se sentait pas bien. Elle a décidé de rester à la maison, mais quelques temps bien après, elle est sortie. Elle est allée rendre visite à une de ses camarades. Mais lorsque elle rentrait, elle a rencontré un groupe de personnes qui lui disaient que maman, certaines choses se passent pas bien. So I went to sleep. Didi came back in the house, knocked the door. I opened the door for Didi. As Didi entered the house, he was. I was on the bed. I heard him just behaving funny in the parlor. He was just restless. He would touch this and leave. Touch this and leave. He went to the kitchen, come back at 4 a.m. in the morning. He came to my room and said, Mama, please, I want to tell you something. I said, Didier, what do you want to tell me at this hour of the, the day? He said, Mama, please come out. I said, Didier, I will not leave my bed and come outside. If you want to tell me anything, come and sit beside me and tell me what you want to tell me. So I shift my tent. Didier sat beside me and he was telling me that, Mama, what we used to see in the Nigeria film, 
he has seen it with his naked eyes today. I said, today, what did you see? He said, Mama, for my coming back home, I met people in this our entrance that this our my 16 is very, very bad. That there are occultic people in this hour, my 16. That how you, as he was coming like that, he met them putting on this long garment like that as we wish to see in a Nigeria film. We bare fitted. So he passed through their middle and he was coming. They called him twice, Didier, Didier. He did not turn and he did not answer anybody. He came home. As he came home like that, he was telling me all those things. I, did, I asked him that Didier. How can you see somebody in a dark? This my eyes like this. How can you tell me that I'm in a dark and you see me and you recognize me? That mama I recognized three people. As he called the name of those three people, I said, Didier, be careful. Notre maman nous dit que plus tard, lorsqu'elle est rentrée à la maison, elle a constaté que son fils se comportait de façon anormale. Il cassait les choses dans la maison. Mais plus tard aussi, vers 4 heures le matin, il a couru vers sa maman dans la chambre de sa maman et il a dit que maman je vais te raconter quelque chose et c'est de là qu'il a commencé à raconter le scénario à sa maman et il a dit à sa maman que lorsqu'il rentrait à la maison il a rencontré un groupe de personnes au bord de la route il a reconnu cette personne et faisait des pratiques occultes ils étaient habillés en blanc voile blanc et pieds nus So as he called the name of those three people that's how did they get mad He was just behaving funny just scattering things and that's how DJ was only crying that mama the only place that they can help me take me to John Chi take me to John Chi take me to Apostle John Chi that the, that's the only place that I'll have my deliverance so that's how we came with DJ here on that Saturday the 21 and on Sunday the 20 the, the, on that Sunday the 21 and that's how DJ have his deliverance here in the Apostle John Chi um. Notre maman nous dit que lorsque son fils expliquait le scénario, au moment où il a prononcé le nom de ces gens qu'il a reconnus, il est devenu fou, il se comportait de façon anormale à la maison. Et sa maman nous dit que c'est ainsi qu'ils ont pris la résolution de venir ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu où son fils a reçu sa délivrance. Je dis, mère, as I came with Didier here and Didier was delivered, I'm very, very happy. I thank God for the work that he did in my son's life. I thank the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, for what he has been doing for people. He should continue with that same spirit to other people. Elle remercie le serviteur de Dieu, Apostle John Chi, pour ce qu'il a fait dans la vie de son fils. Et elle implore plus de grâce dans la vie du serviteur de Dieu, Apostle John Chi. Et bien avant cela, elle retourne toute la gloire entière dans les mains de Dieu. I am not the healer. Je ne suis pas le guérisseur. I know the healer. Mais je connais le guérisseur. His name is Jesus Christ. Son nom c'est Jésus Christ. Amen. Amen. So the healing is not brought to pass by anything done by me. La guérison ne dépend pas de moi. So it's the grace of God. Ce n'est que la grâce de Dieu. Citizens of heaven. I'm called Nathalie Ngumu and the person standing beside me is my mom. Next to her is my dad, and the third person is my youngest sibling. The problem that brought us to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry is a problem of mental disorder that occurred on the 20th of May, this same year. My younger one, on coming back from school, made an encounter with some people along our entrance, and shortly after that, when he made mention of some names, he became mad. What my parents did not know was that when he asked to talk to me, because my room is not inside the house, when he asked to talk to me, I got inside his room. Being someone that was so organized, I met a bucket in his room. He had stood in that bucket, and the entire room was, he had vomited in the room. So I was surprised because this is one aspect that I've never seen in him. And he began crying, and he told me that he wanted to explain something to me. When I asked what the problem was, he was shaking that he could not even explain. So my dad advised that I should read Psalm 91 that morning. And being an elder sister, and I've never seen that kind of behavior from my younger brother, I began trembling. The faith to read was not there. The Bible keep, kept on falling off from my hand, and I kept on picking. But I found myself not reading one complete line. Nous écoutons notre soeur qui nous présente à ses côtés sa maman, ensuite son papa, et enfin son frère. 
Et il nous dit que le problème qui les a amenés ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, c'est le problème de désordre mental de son frère. Elle nous dit que tout ceci a commencé le 20 mai 2016. Mais elle nous dit que, elle nous confirme justement tout ce que son frère, sa maman et son père ont dit précédemment. Mais elle, même, elle nous dit qu'elle a expérimenté cette expérience. And that was how his madness affected me psychologically. And he advised that we should bring him to the ark of God. And that senior apostle John Chi was the only person that can heal him. That no other person can heal him, just the apostle himself. And that was how we brought him here and he met with his deliverance. Notre soeur nous dit que tout ceci l'avait affecté psychologiquement et elles ont décidé de prendre la résolution de venir ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu. That same day, he made an encounter with Jesus Christ and he went in for his exams, being someone that has written three times, twice for probatoire and once for the technical GCE. And he came out victorious. I'm very happy. At first, when I went to check on the results, I checked under the grammar section, forgetting that he wrote a technical. And came home and I was shaking. I could not tell him that you have failed. He came out and asked me about the results and I told him I did not see your name. He told me, go back and check that I wrote a technical and I'm sure I made it. So I went back and checked and behold, his name was there in bold print. Notre soeur nous dit qu'après la délivrance de son frère, il a eu à composer à son examen et il a réussi son examen. We want to use this platform to thank the man of God for what he has done in this family and in the life of my younger brother. We just give glory to God. We thank God for all this. Elle saisit l'opportunité pour remercier le serviteur de Dieu à Paul Jonchi pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa famille et elle retourne la gloire entière dans les mains de Dieu. Peers all over the world, I'm advising especially the youth, always know that you should never give up. Always know that your death will lead you to your, to your promotion and your promotion will lead you to your reward. And also, be careful, be warned and beware of late night hours because those hours are meant for those who are spiritually fit. Either you are for God or you are for Satan. Notre wow. frère comes. Notre frère conseille la jeunesse de ne jamais abandonner, de ne jamais céder, et il est conseillé également de ne jamais rentrer à des heures nocturnes. And also, when you have any problem, any challenging that you are facing in life, no matter how big the situation is, always turn to God because He is the only one that can solve your problem. No, because if it depends on man, man cannot solve your problem. Only Jesus, Master Jesus Christ, can solve your problem. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. So it is the Lord's doing. Ce sont les œuvres du Seigneur. It's marvelous in our eyes. 